Hey there folks and welcome to this video and this here is a general notice. As you are aware what that content is on this channel, it's where I sit down at the start of every week and look forward a bit to this week, look back at previous weeks and talk about a topic that's on my mind. And if you look for this week's one you can find the timestamp for that in the description below. And today's a pretty cool day, I'm just going to start off with that. It's Eight years since myself and my brother first founded Spawning Group, which has led to this channel, which has led to this. <sighs> um, I actually originally named this channel after, well, it was my name, it was our, our Spawning Group. Because it was so I could respond to troll comments. And here I am. <laughs> this channel's got, right now, over ten times the subscribers. But yeah, we've released a podcast, or we will have released a podcast today to celebrate eight years. And it was myself, Ross, Paris, Joe, and of course my brother Torin. That was really enjoyable. I really liked that. Um, it's been a really odd year in a lot of ways, and for well, the past 12 months generally have been massive for me in terms of making content for this channel and just personally as well so really massive thank you to everyone who's helped me there we're coming to the end of 2020 so a lot of my videos this week will be wrapping that up um that's going to include f1 wrc season reviews which will probably be coming over the next couple of days and then a proper end of 2020 thing on Thursday. Might be doing some other videos in the meantime. I think, Christ, when does the Dakar start? That might be as early as next week. So I need to do a Dakar preview. Which means I need to reinstall Dakar 18. Okay. <laughs> but let's go back to talk about other things. And I'm just going to be looking up above is, well, there's a problem that I have in that this rig is at a different height to everything else. So, I'm trying to look up at screens. Actually, I'll just use my laptop because it's down alongside. Um, the weird thing is, if I look back at the past 28 days, I've gained over 100 subscribers in the past 28 days. Which is really odd for me because it took me three years to get to 100. I think it was only last year that I hit 200 and then this year I hit three four five six hundred thank you to everyone who's been here that's been <laughs> honestly quite amazing lots of people have been coming through because they've been finding my content on Maz has been quite agreeable and I really hope that people who've been watching my most recent one uploaded on the 23rd have gone through and checked out those other content creators I mentioned because especially the way I was talking about it it's important to on issues such as those surrounding Mazepin listen to people from the kinds of backgrounds that be affected by his actions so that's kind of why I did that yeah, other things, well, there's going to be something happening around New Year. I'm going to hopefully be doing a live stream to send in the New Year, which will be quite cool. But there will be a couple of other bits and pieces that uh, we'll hear about at some other point. So let's go on to talk about my thing for this week. And you know what? This week, I don't think I'm actually going to talk motorsport or politics. I might talk about both by extension. But I'm just going to talk about what a year this has been. For me, personally, there have been so many amazing things that have happened. And just being able to be here at the end of this, a new kind of... a new sim rig in front of me that's all set up, a new graphics card on my computer. Those are just a couple of little bits, which is just quite nice. But 
I just think about everything that's happened. And there have definitely been a lot of low moments, but some really high moments as well. Driving a BMW M4 GT4 back in February. Um, kind of prominence that if I look at my videos from this year, so many of my videos got um, the Richard Burns Rally Mod 22,000, nearly 23,000 views. And that just happened absolutely by chance. The Mazepin one at 13,000. But it, see, it, so many people watching that was wonderful as well. My first video on F1 drivers kneeling, that was something quite big. But when I see the kinds of turnouts, there are so many things that I can just think about, like where I've talked about Bernie Eccleston or Lewis Hamilton or Max Verstappen. Or the Saudi Arabia Grand Prix. It's interesting to see the kind of turnout and see who's going in and watching those videos. But if I look at my top videos on this channel, to get into the top 10 on here now, I think they need to get past 3,000. Yeah. And of those top 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 are from this year. It's something spectacular. And really, I'm just... It, it does make me really happy to see that kind of thing happening. I can't really sum it all up right now because I tell so many of these stories. Like, I don't think I was going to last a week and here we are six and a half years late still doing daily video content. Um... Yeah, I think the only real thing I have now to say is thank you for watching. Especially with these videos. Because for me, one of the things I enjoy is this... It's one of those ones where you get properly me. I'm not doing any kind of scripts. And I don't feel like I have to control my pace. And what's funny is... I get lots of comments about my pacing, and it doesn't get to me. What I find is really odd is you're never going to please everyone, but the amount of people who are so adamant about me needing to have a certain kind of pace is quite spectacular. A lot of people generally look at my videos and say that I'm talking way too slowly. I need to speed up. I speed up slightly and I'm talking more at this kind of pace and then all of a sudden I have people saying, oh, you're speaking way too quick. I think being able to enjoy me for me and be properly proud and comfortable of myself, that's really been a highlight for 2020. Because, I mean, I like to think of myself as quite laid back and relaxed, but never really been that to this degree before. So thank you for watching, and uh, really have a see you around. Bye-bye for now.